It's time for an experiment, and today I'm going to experiment with temperature and your hydrometer readings. Now, we all know, or you probably should know, that as the temperature changes, the density of water changes, therefore your hydrometer readings could be a little bit different. Now, hydrometers are all calibrated to a certain temperature. This one from Brewer's Elite is calibrated to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know what you're thinking, Bri, you never, ever, ever, ever measure at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're right, and I'm gonna explain that when this little experiment is over, why we don't, and why it probably doesn't make all that much difference anyway. Just bear with me. So what I have here is two containers of water. It's the same water, but one's hot, one's cold. Now, this one started out boiling, almost boiling, and it's been sitting for a few minutes, and this one had two ice cubes in it. The ice cubes are still going. Let's check temperatures just to see where we're at. On this side, we're at 124.3 Fahrenheit. That's still a little warm, because my idea was I wanted to choose a temperature that would be the absolute highest that you could still ferment at. And yeast, as we know, dies around 120, so we're a little bit high still. Let's, let's see how the uh, cold water is doing. I also wanted to go with the other end, down to about 50 degrees if I could. Well, 57 is about where I'm at right now, just because that's about the coldest that most yeast will work at. Yes, I know lager yeasts and this and that and other yeast, I know. But I'm going with just a norm, a range that people might actually ferment at. And you know what? I think I'm okay with 57. We're going to go with that. Let's take a reading of that water. Now, I did sanitize these. There's really no reason to, but we did and I'm going to take a reading. Now, remember, at 60 degrees, it should read 1.000. So we're only a little bit below that at 57. It should read pretty close to 1.000. If I imagine really, really hard, it's just slightly above 1.000, but I'm gonna go with 1.000. So that is perfectly neutral, okay? Because this is not super ice cold water, it's just cold water. Now, being that this is about 10 degrees too warm, I bet you once I put it into here, yep, I bet you once I put it in here with the hydrometer that's now chilled from the cold water, it'll be the right temperature. And if not, I'll dump it out and try again. As long as it doesn't crack the glass, which it shouldn't. As water gets warmer, it should be slightly less dense. So this should actually read slightly above one point, or below 1.000. Yeah, I had to think for a second. Let's see what's our temperature. 114 degrees. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So our reading on this is, it is below 1.000. It's reading 0.992. So it dropped eight points of gravity over almost a 60 degree range. It dropped eight points of gravity. Now, what's important to note about that is eight points of gravity, 0.008 times 135. That's about one percentage point of ABV, right? So that means if you started your brew at 115 degrees and took a reading, and then took another reading at the end with 57 degrees temperature, you could be off by as much as 1% ABV. That's it. And that's a pretty wide range. I would say that's about as wide a range as you can expect. Most times you're much, much closer. Not really anything to be super concerned with. Now, I know what you're gonna say, but you never ever take a reading at 60 degrees. And you're right, I don't. I take this reading at our room temperature. Now, let me explain that one. Our room temperature generally ranges anywhere from 75 to 78 degrees in our house. We have air conditioning. We live in Florida. It gets hot in the summer and a little bit chilly for us. I know some people get it colder in the winter. So we keep heat on in, this, in the winter and AC on in the summer, keeping it in that continual temperature range. Here's the ticket, consistency. If I take my first reading at 75 degrees and my second reading at 75 degrees, they are off by the same amount. It's only 15 degrees different from the 60, so it's probably only a couple of points different anyway, because 60 degrees did eight points, so 15 degrees might only do two points of gravity? Not even worth worrying about, because in order to get it to 60 degrees, I would literally have to chill our brews or our house to 60 degrees Fahrenheit in order to get those readings at 60 degrees. Now the chances that I could get every single brew to exactly 60 degrees every single time is pretty slim and pretty wasteful and impractical. 
So I'd rather err on the side of consistency and ease and practicality. So ours are almost always measured at around 75 degrees. That's why in some cases you might see a little bit of discrepancy. If you're in a much colder climate than us and you did exactly the same thing and you're like four points less, could be that. Could just be a, you used two ounces more or less water than we did. It's all relative. This goes along with the other video that we did where ABV is probably wrong. If you haven't seen that one, go watch that one too. But this is a great little experiment. And it's also a good way to know, uh, you know, a little bit about your personal gear. If you test your water at, room t at your room temperature, you can see how accurate your hydrometer is versus 60 degrees. But uh, if you have any questions about the way this was done or any questions about temperature readings for hydrometers, please ask away in the comment section below. There is actually online charts that do a conversion for you, an adjustment so that you can make that adjustment automatically. If you read it at say 80 degrees, it can give you that conversion too. We'll try to find one of those and put it in the description below. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.